Hi everyone! In this video, we will explain what Browser Stack is, provide an overview of the main components in the Browser Stack interface, and demonstrate several basic practical functions that testers can use in their work. That is, how to choose a device and browser and start your first testing session of a web application. How to log a bug found during testing directly to the bug tracking system. How to launch developer tools on the emulator. How to install and test the application on the iOS Android emulator. How to create your first test case and test run for your project. How to launch your first test run and observe test results. Let's get familiar what is a browser stack. Browser Stack is a popular cloud-based cross-browser testing platform that allows developers and testers to test their web applications on a wide range of real browsers and devices. The platform provides a comprehensive set of features and tools to ensure compatibility and functionality across various browsers and operating systems. To navigate to the Browser Stack platform, you need to search for Browser Stack in a search engine, such as Google. Click on the first link in the search results. You will be navigated to browserstack.com website. In the middle of the screen, you will find the Get Started Free button. Click on it. The sign-up page will be displayed. On the right side of the registration form are displayed the terms of use of the free account. Please note that a free account gives access to limited features of the platform. To be able to use all functions, read the user plans after registration. Fill in valid data in the name, email and password fields of the registration. Check the agreement checkbox and click on the Sign Me Up button. Then pass the CAPTCHA and click on the Verify button. On the next two screens, you will view the custom options. You can choose what you're looking to test, a website or application, or skip the selection. Choose select the settings you would like to continue with and proceed to the next step. Then answer the quick question, for whom are you evaluating a live, just myself or my team? or skip the selection by clicking on the I don't know button. The welcome screen will be displayed. Click on the X button to finish the registration. The browser stack dashboard of your account is displayed. Let's take a look at the few main navigation options. On the left side of the window, the menu icon is displayed. Click on it. This action should expand or slide out the menu from the left side, revealing various options and features available in the menu, such as manual testing options, test automation options, and management and optimization options. Also, inside the left side menu, you can choose whether web or app you would like to test by clicking the corresponding icon above the menu, and the options in the menu will change accordingly. In the middle of the dashboard is displayed the window Real Devices and Browsers. This section provides access to the various browsers and real devices available for testing. It's important to note that Browser Stack is primarily used for application testing purposes and does not provide remote access to complete Windows or Mac operating systems for general use or software development. It is designed specifically for testing websites and web applications on different browsers and devices. For Windows and Mac platforms, you can choose different operating systems, browsers and versions. While for Android and iOS platforms, you can select different devices, firmware and browsers of the device that you would like to launch and test general use of the operating system, like installing the application, etc. We will explain how to install and test the app further in this video. The other important thing is that the free account gives the possibility to launch the emulator only for one minute. After the time is expired, the device will become inactive on the device list. Therefore, we recommend reviewing and buying a plan to receive the possibility to use all devices and options of the browser stack. 
Now that we have covered the few main navigations of Brother Stack, let's explore its practical aspect. How to choose a device and browser and start your first testing session of a web application. To start a testing session, first, choose the device or browser you want to test your web application on. On the left side of the real device and browsers, a list of the available platforms is displayed, such as iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. Choose the platform you would like to test on, such as iOS, then hover the mouse over the available device, for example iPhone 13 Pro Max. Next to the device name will appear the browser on which you can launch the web application. Click on the browser icon. The device starts launching. Once the testing session starts, you'll be able to interact with the selected device or browser in real time. You can test your web application, navigate through pages, and identify any issues or bugs that may occur. Depending on the browser stack version and interface, you may also find additional options during the testing session, such as taking screenshots, recording videos, rotating the device, and others. These options are displayed on the left side of the session screen in the toolbar. Let's try to interact with your device. Input any keyword in the URL field of the device and click on the Go button. You will encounter the same behavior as when using a real device. The search result will appear. Let's move on to the next question. How to log a bug found during testing directly to the bug tracking system? Start the testing session on the device, click on the desired device platform, for example Mac iOS, that is displayed on the left side of the dashboard. And then click on the available version of the Safari browser. The testing session starts and the Safari browser will be opened. On the URL address on the Safari browser, enter search words such as Facebook and navigate to the facebook.com website. Imagine that you found a bug on Facebook login page and you want to log a bug. On the left side of the testing session, find the toolbar. Then inside the toolbar, click on the Capture a Bug button. The bug reporting interface will be displayed. On the top navigation menu, you will find the toolbar. Click on the T icon and type some text on the captured screen, such as bug that I found. The corresponding text will be displayed on the attachment. On the right side of the bug reporting interface, you can find different options for how you can log a bug, such as logging it directly to different bug tracking systems or tools, for example Jira, Azure DevOps, Trello, etc. Or download the image and email the screenshot. Let's try to log a bug directly to one of the available options, specifically the Trello board. Trello is a web-based project management and collaboration tool that allows individuals and teams to organize and manage tasks and projects in a visually appealing and intuitive way. It uses a system of boards, lists, and cards to help users track progress, prioritize tasks, and collaborate effectively. To log a bug that you found during the testing session on browser stack to the Trello board, find the Share option on the right side of the screen and click on the Trello icon. The Trello logging window will be displayed. Make sure that you have an existing account on the Trello board. Enter the email associated with it and click on the Continue button. The Choose or Add another account window will be displayed. Click on the Continue button. Next, you will see the access window. To allow access and finish the sign-up process, scroll down inside this window and click on the Allow button. After you successfully log in, the report issue on Trello board interface will be displayed on the right side of the screen. This interface represents the fields of the Trello board, such as board of your Trello, list type of your Trello, a drop-down menu with existing card summaries of your Trello, or the possibility to create and name a new card of your Trello. Click on the board drop-down menu and choose the board that exists in your Trello. Then, click on the list type drop-down menu and choose the list type that exists in your Trello. In the card name field, 
type the name of the card that you are creating, for example, Brother Stack, log a bug. In the description field, type the description you would like to add, such as Brother Stack, log a bug. After you finish describing your issue, click on the Create Issue button at the bottom of the Report Issue interface. The successful notification message will be displayed on the header of the screen, indicating that your issue has been logged in the Trello board. Go to your Trello board and find the issue that you submitted in your card list. Click on the card. You'll see all the information that you added to your bug from Browser Stack, including bug summary, bug description, attachment, and properties of the device you used during logging the bug. Let's move on to the next question. How to launch developer tools on the emulator? Navigate to the Real Devices and Browsers section. Choose the emulator and the desired operating system version you want to test, for example, Android. Then click on the desired device and browser next to the device name, such as Google Chrome. The emulator screen will open and you can interact with the selected emulator. Navigate to some website, such as speedtest.net or any other, within the Emulator Testing Session window, find the DevTools button on the toolbar, and click on it to launch the developer tools for the emulator. This action will open the familiar developer tools interface, allowing you to inspect HTML, CSS, JavaScript, network requests, and other development-related information. Let's move on to the next question. How to install and test the application of the iOS Android emulator. Sign up or log in to your existing account. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the Brother Stack dashboard. Click on the menu icon on the left side of the screen. Then click on the app icon in the top of the toolbar. Access App Live. App Live is the feature in the Brother Stack that allows you to test your applications on real iOS and Android devices. Click on the App Live options in the toolbar. The App Live interface will be displayed. In the App Live section, you can upload your iOS or Android application, IPA for iOS or APK for Android, to Brother Stack. This can be done by dragging and dropping the file or using the Upload App button. Click on the Upload App button. Choose the desired application installation file from your computer, for example, the IPA file of the TikTok application for iOS devices, and click on the Open button. The application starts downloading to Brother Stack, and the corresponding status bar is displayed below the application name. After uploading your app, choose the iOS or Android emulator on which you want to test your application. Once you've selected the emulator device, click on it to initiate the emulator testing session. Browser Stack starts connecting to the real device cloud, and the corresponding status bar on the right side of the testing session indicates statuses on the processes. Right after the application is installed, the emulator screen will open and you can begin interacting with your app. Use the emulator to test your application just like you would on a real device. You can navigate through the app, interact with its features, and identify any issues or bugs that may arise during testing. Let's move on to the next question. How to create your first test case and test run for your project? Sign up or log in to your existing account. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the Brother Stack dashboard. Click on the menu icon on the left side of the screen. On the toolbar, click on the Test Management options of the Management and Optimization category. The Welcome screen of the Test Management will be displayed. Choose which job role best describes you from the corresponding drop-down list, such as Manual Tester. Then, choose which tools you currently use for managing test cases, such as not using any tools. Select your setup format, such as Quick Import or Start from Scratch and click on the Get Started button. The Quick Import screen will be displayed. To get started, create a new project for your application. Find the Create Project button on the top left corner of the screen and click on it. The Create Project window will be displayed. Provide a name and description for your project, such as Test Cases and Test Run, and click on the Create a Project button at the bottom of the window. 
The interface with your project will be opened. Here you can create and organize test cases, plan test execution, execute tests on browser stack, etc. To create a test case, click on the Create Test Case button on the top right of the project interface. The Create Test Case window will be displayed. This window consists of different fields such as the name of the test case, description, steps to reproduce, template. Fill in these fields with your desired data. Then click on the Show More Fields button. The additional fields of your test case will be displayed such as Type of test case, Priority, Owner, Issue, Preconditions, Attachments, Automation Status, State and Tag. Fill in these fields with the desired data. Then click on the Create Test Case button on the top right corner of the Create Test Case interface. Your test case will appear in the new folder of the main test cases folder. Inside the folder section, you can create any folder you want with desired test cases. Alternatively, you can add the test case to an existing folder by naming the test case and clicking on the Add button on the right side of the Add New Test Case field below the last test case. Let's move on to the next question. How to launch your first test run and observe test results? Go back to your project interface and find the Test Runs button on the top left side of the screen. Click on it. The test run window will be displayed. In the middle of the window or on the top right corner, you will find the Create Test Run button. Click on it. The Create New Test Run window will be displayed. Here, you can find custom fields for your test run, such as Test Run Name, Test Cases, Assign Run, State, Tags, Issues. Find the Select Test Case button of the test cases field and click on it. The Select Test Case window will be displayed. Here you can find test cases from your folders that you would like to run and add them to the test run. Choose the desired test case by clicking on the checkbox before the test case name and click on the Select Test Case button at the bottom of the window. The test case that you choose appears in the test case field. Then click on the Create Run button at the top right corner of the screen. Your test run will be displayed in the Active Test Runs list. In addition to the test run title, on the top navigation bar you can overview the type of run, the number of test cases in the test run, to whom this test run was assigned, and the overall progress of your test run. To start passing your test run, click on your test run title. The test run window will be displayed. Next to the desired test case, find the Status drop-down menu and click on it. The list with statuses that you can assign to your test case will be displayed. You can add statuses such as Passed, Failed, Retest, Blocked, Skipped or Untested to each test case. Click on the status you would like to add to the test case. The corresponding test case status will appear next to the test case title in the Status column. That's all from our site. In this video, we reviewed the main functions of Brother Stack. If there are functions that you would like to see and which were not in the video, write a comment or question to the lecture. We hope to see you in the next video.